Scorpios. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So hey, newbies. I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone in your environment or someone who's energetically attached to you. And keep in mind, it's energy, so it can be vice versa. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot reading. Scorpios, the energy that's picking up with you is very interesting. I actually felt the need to lay down for your meditative session. I normally don't feel the need to do that, but it felt like it was going to be some heavy stuff. And I would say it's more very significant things that I think Scorp some of you Scorpios might be engaged with. I feel like a lot of you are in a teacher role, to be honest with you, for this part of September or for, I feel like after the full moon, like once the full moon comes in and like tritting on into October, I feel like you guys are going to be actually teaching a lot to people in your environment or people that you know indirectly or directly <clears throat> about scorpionic ways of being right like how death and transformation really works and how karmic justice works and basically how to, how you really can't outrun things right <laughs> some things are inevitable you can't escape death you can't escape death and whatever growth whatever progress you want to have in life requires change which requires death and scorpios you know this more than anybody that even though life is on a cycle um at some point new things have to come in and for that to happen things have to die you just know that it's something you live very comfortably with but not a lot of people do so scorpios i was picking up on energy uh that was very three of cups seven of cups energy like a lot of people around a lot of like celebrating a lot of just having fun a lot of just fun. And with Seven of Cups energy, it's having options, right? So whoever's in this Three of Cups energy, they're seeing a lot of options as far as dating is concerned or even business is concerned because I feel like it's just being out and about and just realizing how many doors there are that could be open at this time, right? And Scorpius, <laughs> instantly after that, I don't know if you guys ever heard the story, The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. I freaking love that story. Love that story. My, my guides were giving me that kind of energy. And so for those who, again, warning, 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 sorry, warning alert. I don't want to spoil the story for you, but I am going to talk about the story. So one of the key components of that story is that you got all these noble people huddled up in a mansion, right? And there's seven diff very different rooms, different themes with different colors. Always reminds me of the, um, the seven deadly sins. That always reminds me of the seven deadly sins. So anyway, the whole point of them being huddled up in this mansion is because there's a plague, the Red Death. And it's a masquerade, it's a ball. So they're having fun in their costumes and what have you. Uh, oh, okay, so before I continue, Scorpios, a lot of you are going to be seeing people a lot more clearly now, a lot more clearly. And that's mostly from the full moon in Pisces. Uh, it will be affecting water signs for sure. And Scorpios, you're no exception because you are an intuitive sign. They're just one, I did, they just gave me a download as I was explaining the story of the mask of the red death. Scorpios, the masks will be coming off very clearly. Some of you will be even be seeing auras for the first time. That's what they told me. Some of you will be seeing auras for the first time. Others, like, it's almost like, almost, it's like effortless for you, Scorpio. Think people will just be revealing shit to you even more so than they usually do. Scorpios tend to have that effect on people, but it's going to be amplified. So just keep note of that. Anyway, Scorpios. Um, so then come midnight, there's a stranger that comes in dressed up as Mask of the Red Death. And everyone's afraid of this person because it's like, do they have the plague? Do they not have the plague? <laughs> uh and so the person who's basically hosting the event uh i forget the name it's a prince of some sort doesn't matter name is not important uh confronts the stranger dies and then everyone dies okay you can't escape death you can't escape escape change you can't escape transformation there's also this energy scorpio is where i think not only are you helping people to learn that and understand that but i'm also getting this energy of like of that seven deadly sins right that devil energy, being so entranced and addicted to the three-dimensional materials, luxury. I feel like you're helping people in your environment to realize that that's not going to keep, first of all, that's not going to keep you from dying. I don't know what that's about. I guess some people think if they have more money, they won't die. I don't know what that's about. That's what my guys just told me. Um, but also that you can't hold on to those things forever because they're just things, right? They're just things and they don't always bring happiness and there will always be new. There will always be new coming into your life. And as new stuff comes into your life, you have to let certain things go. And I think you're really teaching someone that. Scorpio, you could be learning this yourself where it's like, okay, if I want new this, that, or the other, what has to go for me to make space in my life for that? Even if it's something that I like, even if it's something that's just purely pleasurable, can I give that up for something grander, something greater, something better? And I, you know, also this, like, all this talk about death and transformation, especially in relation to like three-dimensional 
I, uh, objects, items, pleasures, luxuries, what have you. Scorpios, I feel like you or someone in your environment, I feel like it's more someone that you're, again, I feel like you're very much teacher right now, very much in a teacher role. I feel like you're actually teaching somebody that like, hey, you can't escape this. Like, I almost feel like it's like an ascension or awakening trying to happen for someone. But it's like the second they let go of the things that really don't serve them, they let go of the addictive behaviors or the things that are very intoxicating the second they let go of one of those aspects they can start to really ascend and that part of them will start to die does that make sense i feel like some of you are teaching someone that anyway scorpios i've been talking quite a bit so let's just go ahead and get right into this reading okay uh keep in mind guys these are very general readings so they won't resonate with everybody okay messages come through for those who need to hear them so if it's not your story this week that's okay someone just had to hear that story right this wasn't your week. Nothing wrong with that. Um, also, guys, we're working with energy, as I said before, so messages can be vice versa. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. We've all got masculine and feminine energy. Um, also, guys, I've been traveling the last few days, uh, so you're getting very subdued cash water baby right now, <laughs> if you guys didn't already know. Uh, but let's go ahead, Scorpios, and get into your reading here. I'm using Santa Muerte for the primary this time. I, I just feel like that belongs for Scorpios. Like, doesn't this deck, doesn't this deck just say Scorpios only, please? <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. Anyway, all right, Scorpios, let's do this. Mm. You're pushing someone out of their comfort zone. You definitely are, Scorpio. And I, I feel like it's you doing it, and I feel like it's almost effortless. I don't even feel like you're trying. I just feel like your pure existence and your energy is doing that. And, you know, sometimes Scorpios have that effect on people. Like, you just tend to cause change in people's lives because you are change agents. You're the epitome of change. Yeah, Scorpio, you're, I think you're shaking up someone's life and the people around you, especially with this full moon energy, okay? So just keep that in mind. If people start to get a little aggro with you, that might be why. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? I also feel like you guys are getting ready for Halloween. I can't get off this, like, imagery of costumes. <laughs> You guys are definitely getting ready for your season. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Okay. The first. They just told me the first. The first. Hmm. You might be someone's first, Scorpio. I don't know what that's about. You might be someone's first. I don't, I don't know why they said the first. The first. It could be a date, but I feel like it's about, like, a title of the first. See what we have here. Oh, <laughs> death card, of course. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy. And then we have the page of swords here. Oh my, Scorpios. Yeah, I, I feel like you have someone almost not, entra not entranced. That's not the right word. It's not entranced. You have their focus. That's what it is. Thank you. You have their focus, Scorpio. You're, you're, you're doing something to them that's kind of putting them in a state of awe. Yeah, it's like they don't really understand fully what's going on with them. I, I really feel like you're, you're ca acting as a catalyst for someone or at least just gaining, uh, giving someone some clarity on their own situation and just life in general. Um, yeah, I feel like someone's focus is so on you. They don't want it to be, though. I can feel it. They don't want it to be. Oh, Scorpios. Oh, what, what you do to people. Um, yes, you have someone's focus. They don't want you to be their main focus, though. And I think you're just acting as someone's focus because you're causing change in this person's life. I can feel it. You're causing change in their life, their perspective, the way they see shit. Um, yeah, you're digging stuff up for this person, too. You're digging stuff up for this person, too. It's almost like forcing them to look at themselves. And they don't really want to do that, but it's helping them. And at the same time, it's like they're very intrigued by you and they like your energy. So they keep wanting more. It's like, it's very push-pull. It's like, I want Scorpio. I need Scorpio. What's Scorpio up to? Scorpio is teaching me stuff. No, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I can't handle this. I can't let this go. Oh, but maybe I do. <laughs> right? Maybe I do. Any other messages for Scorpio? There's also something about your vulnerability, Scorpio, which is interesting because most people wouldn't describe Scorpios as being vulnerable or transparent you guys tend to be very mysterious to people but I, I feel like people get very confused by that because Scorpios you are very transparent and I think it's because you're so transparent people don't see that you're transparent does that make any sense like how do I say this so many people are not transparent that when you come across someone who is 
they don't believe it, right? Like they can't, they're not sure what to take as fact because you just are who you are. You understand what I'm saying? But there's something about that that's in, that's again, I keep wanting to say entranced, but I know that's not the right word. You might, you might be about to mesmerize this person, Scorpio. That might be it, but that's why they're so focused on you. Even if they don't say it, their focus, their mental capacity, their mental f uh, faculties is what I meant to say. Their mental faculty, faculties, <laughs> I can't talk today. Uh, you're occupying that space, okay? Any other messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Let's see here. Oh my. We have a six of pentacles, Taurian energy with the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio, I'm feeling major hesitation from this person. It's like they want it and they don't. 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 This page of wands, I'm getting like holding back, resisting, resisting. And six of pentacles, that's a that's a giving energy. That's a give and take reciprocity. Like, hey, I'm here for you. You're here for me. It's very equal, right? It's very equal. It's very yummy. It's very, very balanced. But page of wands in reverse, someone's resisting communicating about this. Someone's resisting this. Like someone's resisting wanting wanting an exchange with you that's interesting they want it but they're resisting it. and it's so funny i was saying back and forth like he's on a swing i didn't even realize that back and forth back and forth back and forth let's see what else we got here hmm any other messages for scorpios regarding love september 12th to the 21st Any other messages for Scorpios regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? This could be someone you're dating. This could be a friend, a family member. For, for a lot of you, I do feel like it is a romantic interest. I have to be honest. Yeah, for a lot of you, I do feel like it's a romantic interest. Wow. Seven of swords in reverse. I, wow. Aquarian energy. Yeah, you're making someone think about their past a lot. And it feels very, very... <clears throat> specific it's their past you're making someone think about their past a lot and it's about the bad shit guys it's about the bad shit it's not about the warm fuzzy stuff it's it's all the bad shit this person's thinking about like i said you're digging stuff up for this person you're having to make someone look at shit in their life or shit that they've been through or stuff that is going on with people who have deceived them in the past and it's almost like you can either let go of it and grow or you can keep holding on to it and then it's just going to hit you in the face like a big fat tower anyway. You know, it's, it's almost like you're not saying any of this, Scorpio. And this is like what's so Scorpionic about this reading. You're not saying any of this to this person. You don't have to. Your energy just puts this person in that state of being. Like you are changing this person just by being you. It's, it's kind of incredible. It's kind of incredible. And they do like it, Scorpio. They do like it but they're hesitating. They're hesitating to tell you how much that they like it or how much they want to keep having, like I keep wanting to say like, ping, ping pong, like a nice back and forth, back and forth, back smooth, like smooth, consistent back and forth with you and this person, like energy flow, whether that's a form of communication, actually seeing each other um, or just making things more balanced between the two of you, because I feel like there's been a lot of silence, Scorpio, and mostly from your end. But yeah, they want more of you. They do. They want more of you, but they don't like the shit that that's coming up for them from their past. Okay. Overall energy. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy underneath that. We do have a Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be um, fire or water. And then we have the Four of Wands. Aries energy here. This is be pretty beautiful. Okay. This is beautiful energy. This is pure stability with the four of wands and the 10 of pentacles. That's a stable relationship. That's a stable, stable business, a stable home. Queen of wands in the middle. That's someone who's incredibly attractive and someone who's very great at energy pulling and energy manipulation. And Scorpios, like I said, you don't even have to say anything. It's just happening. It's just happening. So this is the overall energy for the reading. Okay. Pure stability, pure stability. But yeah. This person's hesitating. They're just not used to having to look at this kind of stuff. That's what it is. They're probably just not a Scorpio. Okay, that's probably just what it is. But let's go ahead and dig into this energy a little bit more here. I'm really curious about the Page of Swords. So let's see what the Page of Swords has to say. <clears throat> Talking about the Page of Swords. Yeah, they're very focused on you very focused on you and then this stuff from the past hits them in the face and then they find it really unpleasant. 
but then it's almost like they just want more scorpio they just want more tell me about the page of swords and the, oh god sorry i'm gonna download that really bothers them the fact that they want more and more and more of you as time goes on really makes this person a little crazy <clears throat> tell me about the page of swords tell me about the page of swords for scorpio tell me about the page of swords for scorpio regarding love september 12th to the 21st Oh boy. So we have here, that was very quick. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Wow, Page of Wands in reverse, double confirmation there. And then we have Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, could also be water or fire. And the Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. Yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> This person is feeling a little crazier and crazier about this whole situation because they want more and more of you. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Wands in reverse, they're trying to rest. They're trying to take a break. They're trying to gain understanding about this whole situation, why they feel they're changing, why they can't get enough of you, and like what they're trying to figure out the whole dynamic here the whole dynamic and what they really need to do. And because of that, they're not really putting an effort towards you. Hmm? Oh, sorry. That was weird. My phone just freaked out. Sorry, guys. Anyway, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, they're not, they're, not, they're not putting in a whole lot of effort into something right now because they are trying to get and gain enlightenment about this and try, trying to figure out why they're hesitating so much as to like why they're not just communicating what an equal give and take they want with you. Okay. And I get, I get this like very charitable, generous energy with this person too. To be honest with you, Scorpios, it's kind of like they do want to just dive full on in, especially if this is a romantic situation, but they're holding back because they need enlightenment about, some, enlightenment about something, and I feel like they need to heal from their past shit. Yeah, they need to heal from their past shit, and because of they're not really being very productive at work, and like I said, they're not really putting a lot of energy into you exactly, and I, I felt that, like there wasn't a whole lot of communication going on back and forth, back and forth. And then we have Seven of Pentacles. With the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. They're reevaluating. Like I said, they're reevaluating because their perspective is changing. You're acting as a change agent, agent, and not <laughs> agent for them, Scorpio. And it's making them look at their past. It's also making them look at um how they've been with relationships in the path past. In the path, Jesus, in the past, and realizing that maybe they've been with people who haven't exactly been authentic haven't been emotionally authentic, haven't exactly contributed to them in a positive emotional way, and they want different than that. And Scorpios, I think that's also why this person's craving you so much, because Scorpios do provide that. You're a water sign. You just do. And Scorpios are full of love and loyalty. They really are. I know, I know, I know. I already can hear it. Scorpios are this, Scorpios are that. Um, guys, there's bad people everywhere. There's a bad person for every sign. There just is. Um, but scorpionic energy, nature, is very much like that, causing this person to reevaluate quite a bit. All right, let's see what else we have going on here. Tell me more about the Page of Swords for Scorpio regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Page of Swords for Scorpio. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, awesome. Lovers, Gemini energy. This is my divine soul connection card. It is also about making decisions and being very balanced in your masculine and feminine energy here. I do feel like this is actually representing a connection. Overall energy for the Page of Swords, we do have the Ace of Wands. Scorpio, like I said, they want you. They want more of you. We even have the Hanged Man with the Six of Pentacles. I can pick this up. How do I give more to Scorpio? How do I make this happen? How can this be an equal give and take? Because God damn it, I want Scorpio. You know, it's very, it's very much like that. Very much like that because this is a very interesting connection. It's a very strong spiritual connection. There's something very magnetic between the two of you where it, to be honest, it feels a little inevitable. I don't know why I feel that way, but it does. It feels, it feels almost like, well, we basically have been hitting on that theme, right? About what is inevitable with every cycle. The new comes in and the old has to die. But Scorpio, there's something about your interaction with this person that is inevitable. 
it has to happen and it's going to I think it's just going to bring a lot of stability to both of your lives or at least some more understanding of who you both are I feel some major lessons at the core of this some of this could just be a soulmate that you have to deal with to learn some shit for a short period of time others it could be a much longer standing connection uh, to bring in more stability and abundance. But I do feel like at the core of it, there are lessons here for both of you. It really does feel like a magnetic attraction that just goes beyond lust here. Yeah, this wouldn't come out if it was just lust. It wouldn't come out if it was just lust. There's something here. There's something bigger here that has to happen between the two of you. And I think this person's realizing that. But in the process of that, they're still having to purge and heal and deal with some old shit from their past, Scorpio, because you are changing something about this person, okay? Like I said, they want this, but they are holding back. So let's look at the Page of Wands in a verse and see why they're holding back here. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. And then we'll look into the past. How could we not in a Scorpio reading? So I have the Page of Wands in a verse. So I have the Page of Wands in a verse for Scorpio. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. Let's see here. Wow. Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, and the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. The way, one of the reasons this person is holding back, they're worried about drama. That's interesting. They're worried about drama and fighting. Why are they worried about drama and fighting? <sighs> Tell me more about the Page of Wands in reverse. That's what they're worried about. They're worried about drama. They're worried about chaos. They're worried about fighting, and they don't want any of that. Why does that feel... I feel like this person's letting their imagination run away with them. We've got the page of wands in reverse again, double confirmation. Drama and gossip. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Scorpios. This person's worried about drama and gossip. Tell me more about the page of wands in reverse for Scorpio. And it's funny because I was getting that three of cups energy, right? Like social circle party energy. Scorpios, you could be you know, involved with this person at work. We have a lot of pentacles here. Or just you could share the same social circle and maybe they're worried that it's going to cause drama and gossip in your shared social environments. Talking about page of wands in reverse. Talking about page of wands in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. That's what they're worried about. I can see it. That's what they're worried about. Wow. Oh my God. But <laughs> the fucking A. Page of cups and then the 10 of cups. Piscean energy, overall energy. Look, the Queen of Cups. <laughs> Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Eight of Wands in a verse underneath that. Delayed progress, delayed communication, miscommunication. Like I said, I didn't feel a whole lot of flow of communique between the two of you here. Underneath that, the world in reverse, fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, Charles Capricorn. And then we've got the King of Cups in reverse right there. <laughs> a true pair situation. Scorpionic energy could also be uh, water or air. This person, this is what they want to do. Look at this. They want to come forward. They want the Ten of Cups with you. They know that there's something about you that just leaves them in awe. It's something about awe. You just leave this person in awe because you've changed a lot about their perspective because you've shown them what needs to change. Oh, Scorpios, I love that. You show them what needs to change without saying shit, okay? It's just what Scorpios do. But this period of time of, of miscommunicating or not having that right flow or balance or just that charitable generous energy I was getting because I feel like they do want to take care of you Scorpio they do want to shower you they want to give they want to give they want to give they want to give and they see you as being incredibly attractive not only attractive but also very nourishing and very healing very very healing and very very intuitive it might be making their emotions a little a little bit of a muck might be making their emotions a little crazy because like I said they are having to face a lot of stuff from their past that are very that's very unpleasant because this is affecting them spiritually. It's affecting them spiritually, but that's why they're hesitating. They are worried about drama and gossip here. That's their main concern. But at the end of the day, it's like, damn it, I want my Ten of Cups. <laughs> I want my Ten of Cups with Scorpio. All right, so let's look at Seven of Swords in reverse and see what that's about. And then we're going we're gonna to go ahead and pull some advice. 
Uh, spellcasters. Let's do spellcasters. But yeah, they're really worried about drama and gossip. That's such an interesting concern to me. It's only about Seven of Swords in reverse. It's only about Seven of Swords in reverse. Ah. For Scorpio. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Time of the Seven of Swords in reverse. What's happened in the past year that's being brought up? Wow. Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Well, I'm happy this is in reverse, though, because um, it means anxiety is dissipating around this past energy or past events. Again, old crimes but this is beautiful energy because it's, it's telling me that they're being forced to face this stuff because again you're acting as a change agent for this person in their life but it's actually helping them to relieve a lot of fear and anxiety and insecurities around these old crimes which is great that's basically healing that's healing and taking care of wounding tell me about seven of swords in reverse tell me about seven of swords in reverse for scorpio Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, interesting, bad investments, bad investments, bad investments. Yeah, this person's made some bad investments in people in the past, and that's that's why they're worried about this. That's why they're worried about drama and gossip, because I feel like whoever they've been involved with in the past, it just was very defeating, uh, just full of deception or illusion, and anxiety and fear about making that mistake again is dissipating. It's dissipating because they're seeing it for what it was. They're seeing those events for what they were. Immature, drama-filled, inauthentic connections or in, oh, excuse me, or relationships. Um, and I think they were worried about making that mistake and moving forward with anybody. And Scorpio, you just happen to be next in line. <laughs> so maybe that's why it was like the first. Maybe your number's being called for this person, okay? Um, but they're realizing the more time they spend around you, the more energy of yours that they feel, the more they can see the reality of these events, these relationships, and the more they can see that drama and gossip might not be an issue with you. But it is one of their concerns, I think, just for relationships in general. Play more with the Seven of Swords in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Let's see. Well, let's see, Scorpios. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse for Scorpio. Scorpios, what do I feel like? I feel like some of you are going to end up in a relationship with this person. I'm just calling it out. Just calling it out. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, <laughs> two of cups. Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy here. Yeah, Scorpios, you're making them see it a hell of a lot about their past relationships, the people they've dealt with, some old shit that's happened to them that maybe they didn't see in full light and now they do. And it's just like, wow, yeah, you're yeah, you're you're putting this person in a state of awe. It's like, how is Scorpio doing that? How are they doing that? How how are they what are they doing to me? How are they doing that? And they just get more and more enthralled by you they want more and more it's like yeah as time goes on they want more and more of you it doesn't dwindle it's actually increasing oh i like it i really like it scorpio okay let's get some advice out here using spirit animal deck any advice from us scorpios any advice from my scorpios you got a really intense connection here guys really intense Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Let's see. Ooh, very nice. Electric eel spirit. Spirit. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> bring your ideas to life. 24, bring it down to a six. This is manifestation energy. And it always, always reminds me of water with all that blue. Plus it's, it is an eel, right? <laughs> it is an eel. Uh, very scorpionic. Also just, very, I'm also getting a lot of Cancerian energy. Cancers are really great manifestors, but really manifesting emotional needs. Like having those emotional needs fulfilled, satiated, right? Being nourished. Being emotionally nourished, spiritually nourished at that. That is what's happening with this person because of your energy, Scorpios. They're becoming emotionally nourished, emotionally at peace as well. And it's something that they manifested. And did both of you manifest this? Hold on. No, I feel like they manifested you. Yeah, Scorpios, I feel like they manifested you. I feel like this person's been needing this kind of energy in their life, something to really kind of get them to see the reality of their decisions, of the people that they're around, the people that they've dealt with, uh, to heal and basically feel emotionally satisfied to have that Ten of Cups. This person was manifesting their Ten of Cups and they manifested you. And it's kind of freaking them out. <laughs> It just is. It's kind of freaking them out a little bit because it's that push pull of back and forth, back and forth. Like, God, Scorpio feels so amazing. But oh, no, I got to look at all this shit at, like in myself and I got to deal with this, that and the other. And then they just they just can't help but come back. They just can't help but like lean closer into you. Any other advice for Scorpios? Oh, very nice. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. 43 breaking down to a seven. What did I say? You bring them clarity, Scorpio. You basically take away the illusion of what they've been dealing with or what they've been living in. And this is something they asked for. It's something they asked for. And your connection is just so magnetic that that's what I mean by like, it just feels like something that's supposed to happen right now. And I feel like both of you are going to learn a lot from it. Okay. Any other advice from Scorpios? Any other advice for my Scorpios? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? And Scorpios, like I said, you're going to be experiencing some of that too. And I said that in the beginning where it's, and I got that little download. A lot of you are going to start seeing auras for the first time. They really want me to, to like really reiterate that. Um, so just be mindful of that. If you're seeing something and you're just not sure, just have that in the back of your head, okay? You will be starting to see a lot more as far as your intuition is concerned, especially with this woman in Pisces, okay? Last card out. Aw, Ant Spirit, time to collaborate with the energy of one. Oh, I love that. That's very Three of Pentacles very three of pentacles energy about literally having to work with one person or another it could also be having to work with spirit we do a manifestation here as well but i really feel like this is about building with each other getting closer with each other to have that six of pentacles and it's funny because this is my three of pentacles card and they actually do have three little pieces here but six of pentacles it's like doubling that right both of you want to bring the same thing to the table this person just has to deal with <coughs> excuse me i want to get some water hmm Ugh. this person just has to deal with their bad shit from the past okay they just gotta work through that get through that bit of like death phase because it is a death phase right when you start to accept and purge and heal your shit from the past it's it's letting that part of you die to make way for the new and you two i think will work very nicely together very nicely together overall we have elephant spirit learn from the past 25 breaking down to a seven what did i say well, that seven of swords in a verse. This person's gaining understanding and clarity of what's brought them to this point and what has been wrong with people in their life or different um, ways they go about relationships up until this point in time and learning from that, growing wiser from that and moving forward accordingly, right? And Scorpio's, like I said, you're helping this person do that. You're acting as that change agent. You came out <laughs> death, first card out, death in reverse, page of swords, and they can't stop looking at you. They can't stop looking at you. There's also there's also this energy of study. Yeah, it's like Scorpios. They're also just trying to figure out like how you just do what you do. Like you're teaching this person about death and transformation and change. And as you're teaching them, it's just like, like how does Scorpio know this? How does Scorpio go about life like this? You know, it's like they want to know more. And that's what I mean. They can't get enough of you. They want to know more and more and more and more. But they're holding back because they're worried about gossip and drama. But at the end of the day, this is clearly a manifestation that's come to fruition. Oh, this is a manifestation that's come to fruition and it is time to deal more with each other and build with each other, which is really beautiful.
All right. So Scorpios, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Scorps. Namaste.